more time has been spent at home lately in the past few months, so we might as well use some of that extra time to learn about the place we come from. For the past month, Aloha Authentic has been going around the island of Oahu and highlighting different place names. This week, we head to an area that changed forever on an early December morning in 1941. The moku, or large land section of Eva here on Oahu, is made up of 12 different ahupua'a, all of which connect to one of the most famous harbors in the world. We are talking about Pearl Harbor. The traditional name to Pearl Harbor is Pu'uloa, which means Long Hill, and according to historian Mary Kavena Pukui, the reason is unknown to why it's called this. The true identity to the history of Pearl Harbor has been forever tainted by the dramatic attacks of World War II. As stated by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. But the name alone brings light to the history of this body of water, which was also referred to as Waimomi, or Pearl Waters. The reason being, a vast range of bivalves once flourished throughout the harbor's locks, including the Hawaiian pearl oyster known as pipi. Old Hawaiians referred to these oysters as ia hamau leo eva, which means the silent fish of eva. Interestingly, the silence didn't refer to the oysters. It referred to the silence needed by the people who harvested them because it was believed that your voice would be carried by the wind, create ripples in the water, and scare off the oysters. Populations of these oysters have become almost entirely extinct, if not already, due to the earthly runoff drowning them in mud. But in 2019, the government partnered with agencies to reintroduce native oysters to the harbor to improve its water quality. Did you know? Now you do.